Hello Aries and welcome to Wake Up With Dark Clay. Let's go ahead and have a look at what today's tarot messages are for you. Straight off the bat, I'm using the Clover Tarot and I dropped one, bear with me. Hope you're all doing really well. We have Seven of Pentacles straight up. Next, we have Eight of Cups. All right, and I'll tell you what they're all telling you in a minute. And Five of Cups. So we've obviously let something go, whether that is emotionally or mentally. It's just really telling me that there is something in your life that you've detached from. With the Eight of Cups, it's almost like, leave me alone for a minute because I need to rethink and reevaluate where I'm headed, what I really want to do with my life. Okay, with Five of Cups, it, it is an emotional time period for you right now, Aries, because you've got two cups. Okay, and both these cups are saying a withdrawal pattern that is happening around you right now. Seven of Pentacles is saying it's something that you were kind of contemplating and thinking about prior, almost preparing for this change. All right, let's go ahead and see what clarifiers come out so I can give you some more details. Okay, now I'm using, I can't remember what this tarot deck is called. I think it's an everyday tarot, but I love it. That's a seven of pentacles again, so that's really uncanny. Now, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know what you think of this reading. And Aries, I do offer personalized services. So you can check that out in the description box below. Okay, let's clarify. Seven of Pentacles is clarified by Ten of Pentacles. Now, Ten of Pentacles is telling us that this is something to do with your stability, security, possibly even your work or financial aspects of your life because pentacles are all about our stability. It's all about, you know, work, our career prospects, training, learning something new that's going to eventually bring you into um, a more financially stable position. Okay, next up we have Knight of Cups with... The Eight of Cups. Nine of Cups with the Eight of Cups is saying, I'm thinking of leaving something emotionally, leaving something behind. I've detached because I've got something else that I want to pursue in my life. There is something a little bit more interesting happening over there right now. So I'm going to detach from here, whatever it may be, and I'm going to check that out. Okay. Now, Five of Cups with the Emperor. And I really love this duo because this is saying something that wasn't, I guess, serving its purpose in your life and was actually making you feel quite down about yourself, about where you are in life, about what you want to do in your future that you had your heart set on because it's cups. Remember, cups are the emotional realm. Okay, so it's really saying that whatever you had your heart set on, the Emperor, which is Aries, it's you, is all about moving forward and taking control of what it is that you really want to do. Like, for instance, the Knight of Cups. Okay, it's really about moving forward, following your heart, following your dreams, you know, your whims, you're waking up and saying, you know what, I really want to go this way in my life, but right now I'm kind of stuck here. How am I going to get over there? Now let's go ahead and get some clarifiers and get some more info for you. Hopefully your spirit guides will come through and tell me more. So I'm going to use the Lenormand deck to get some more info for you, Aries. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment below. It all gives me a lot of love and support. We've got new beginnings with the child. Also, the child could be saying something temporary. Okay, it's almost like... Seven of Pentacles is an anticipatory card where you're waiting for something and you're kind of preparing for it, you know, like the doomsday preppers kind of thing. But in some aspect of your life, it's like I'm saving for a rainy day because I can see that it's going to happen soon. 
all right next up ten of pentacles all right i've saved i've got everything that i need ten of pentacles is a long term card because pentacles is all about earth energy and earth energy is a very slow moving process okay so ten ten of pentacles mean to the max okay the king and the queen belong in ten of pentacles realm okay so this is really saying you've been preparing now you've got everything that you need and you know which way you need to go the child means short term in the not too distant future or it's a dream okay because it's all about that childlike soul and thoughts and dreams it's all about saying, you know what, I really feel that this is something I can go for. And you can see it's number 13, and one, three equals four. And that means something to build upon. Okay. Now, Knight of Cups with Eight of Cups clarified by the stalks. Stalks are wonderful. It means the only way is up. Just like that sum, the only way is up. Okay. So the stalks are saying new birth growth development much like the childlike soul is saying it's all about moving forward it's all about dreaming making your dreams come true moving forward like i said and the stalks are saying your dreams are about to come true aries one seven equals eight eight is possibly tied to this eight of cups meaning that you may still be going through that withdrawal process areas where you're actually letting go and you're removing yourself from a situation that wasn't feeling right whether it's an emotional connection that you have with someone whether it's something that you had your dreams and your hopes and and a lot of invested mental energy in some aspect of your life for instance a career goal partnership someone you've been dating chatting to dating apps you know whatever it may be something that you kind of thought yeah this is going to work out and it kind of doesn't withdrawing from that to heal your heart to heal your soul moving on up okay into another aspect of your life the emperor is saying you are in your zone aries that is aries energy taking control of the situation and moving forward and next we have the key the lock and key now the lock and key is all about new opportunities so I feel that fate, destiny, whatever it is that you want to believe in, there is a serendipitous situation coming through to you that's going to help you move forward. However, with the Five of Cups, there will be that grieving period, which is totally natural. We all go through it when we make huge changes in our life. Sometimes we start from square one and we move on up, just like the stalks. Now, three, three equals six six is all about the lovers now a lot of people say lovers is all about new relationships it's all about partnerships the love that's coming to you however yes they may be that meaning in my study of the lovers in the original right away definition of the lovers it is really about making a decision okay being torn by your heart and your mind okay and when the lovers card does come through it means that your heart and your mind are aligned and you're making a decision that feels right for you okay now sometimes yes it is about love and new partnerships and all that beautiful stuff however three three equaling six to me in my definition it is saying that your heart and your mind are aligning and you know which direction you need to go once this emperor comes through whether it is you yourself making sense of a situation saying you know what i really need to go this way and i'm going to do it even if i'm still grieving the detachment process that i needed to go through in order to follow my heart Okay, Aries, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Stay tuned for your situationship reading coming up next. And I send you much love and like. Bye for now.